seatbelt is on, you must have your seatbelt fastened. Professor Carey says Dr Lanning repeatedly asked her to join him for drinks at a function in Sydney. He said, I, I'm going out to an art gallery after this. You should come with me. Um, we'll have lots of cocktails. It'll be great. And I sort of, you know, politely said, I, I, I won't be doing that. He didn't stop asking, <laughs> even when I said that. So he wasn't deterred? No, not at all. Not at all. He was not deterred by my trying to not engage with him. He was not deterred by my body language in trying to shift away from him. He was not deterred when I said, I'm not going to come out. Thank you for the invitation, but I'm not interested. Professor Carey said they got off the flight in Sydney and she went to the baggage carousel. I was really relieved and I went and I collected my bag and then I was exiting in Sydney airport to get a taxi. And as I approached the doors, he was standing there again. Only this time he had his driver with him, who was very tall, <laughs> an imposing figure, um, completely silent. And Andrew Lemming again uh, started saying, come out, we're going to an art gallery, come on, come out. And I, and I said, no. No, um, I'm not interested and, and I can't. She says Dr Lamming insisted she accept a lift to her hotel. Again, I declined numerous times. He is remarkably persistent and I think as probably many women have experienced, you get to a point where you just think, you know what, it'll just be easier. I'll just get this lift against my better judgment. And I said, OK, I'll, I'll accept a lift to where I'm staying, but I'm not coming out. So how did it end? I think when it became clear that I was definitely not going to go, uh, he became quite disinterested. So then he started just playing on his phone and he was text messaging. Um, and at the hotel, it was the driver got out, opened the door for me, got me my luggage, lambing, I don't think he even said goodbye. I actually called my mum and said this really strange thing has happened um, and told her the story and um, you know I, I really just needed to debrief mm. with someone because it all felt so strange and I did feel very uncomfortable.